The paramount ruler of the great oil-rich Ijire kingdom in Ethiopia's local government area of Delta State, His Royal Majesty Udure One, has paid an inspection visit to the ongoing drainage evacuation project undertaken across Jesse Town by Desopadek in collaboration with the Delta State government. The, the Delta State Oil Producing Areas Development Commission, Desopadek, in collaboration with the Delta State government, has commenced the evacuation of debris and debts from drainages across Jesse Town the headquarters of Ijere Kingdom, Ethiopia West. The move is part of the Sopadek initiative to cut a flooding in Delta State, a similar exercise is reportedly ongoing across various communities in the state. The evacuation did commence from Jesse Town Roundabout and the drainage has been opened up from the roundabout to Onosa Amagia Street down to the river. When we caught up with the project supervisors, they unveiled the scope of the project and went further to note how the Sopadek, in collaboration with the Delta State Government, is tackling flood head-on across Delta State. My name is Mrs. Francisca Atigan. I'm Director of Sanitation and Waste Management, Ministry of Environment. Yes, ma'am. Can you uh, can you tell us uh, what's going on uh, in GC Town today? Uh, here, as you can see, uh, Ministry of Environment collaboration with uh, the Sopadek. The Sopadek is actually the driver uh, trying to you know, desilt drains in uh, Jesse Town to prevent flash floods. Okay. And uh, tell us the scope of the project, man. Where are you starting from? And where uh, are you as you can see, we are starting from the market area down to Amagia Road, down to the river. For these, these areas, the central and about the it floods and it's a heavy one, you know, so we're trying to desilt. And this situation is a result of the poor sanitary habits of the people. And I will appeal that the people should please stop using the drain as their pump sites. They should register with private sector participants to evacuate their waste. And when we, when we stop blocking the drains with our waste, we will enjoy it. We will enjoy the, you know, the free flow of water in our drains. You can see the uh, as a lot of the promise that uh, His Excellency Right Honorable Sherry Fukure will be promised and it's more agenda. You can see it is already on. You know, he has uh, gracefully, you know, graciously provided for this project to be carried out. And and, and how long uh, will, will this be achieved now from your estimation? Uh, uh, until we get to the end where we intend to be. Well, we, until we get to where we are it's sure completely it's done. completely done. Actually, we really thought it was going to be two to three days till when we got here. We have been here since yesterday. So until we get to where we actually know it is done, we are not going to leave. And all the necessary resources have been provided by the government? By His by Excellency. But we, we are, they say people, the Red Kingdom, they are grateful. Because you can see the smile on their faces. They have been coming to say thank you, thank you, thank you. To, you know, the government, government of the day. I am Engineer Tony Ukuwe, Executive Assistance Projects, the SOPA uh, We have been here since uh, yesterday to desilt the drain within the community, the Jesse community. We have come to the rescue of the community to open up the drains and evacuate the uh, waste. Uh, the Sopadek is doing this all over the place within their mandate area. We are working in Wari, we are in Sefle, we are in Ugeli, we are in Apo, and uh, we still want to go to other places within the Sopadek mandate area. That's exactly what we are doing. Yes, sir. And uh, uh, according to my discussion with your colleague, is there a time frame that you hope to achieve this? Sir? Is there a time uh, we're looking at uh, maybe three days, but uh, from the volume of work we're seeing on ground, it will go far beyond that. Yes, sir. And uh, what will be your message uh, to the people uh, in terms of them uh, taking care of the drainage? Uh, we have always uh, had this program all over the place we've been to. Uh, people don't have good means of disposal of their waste. I am appealing to them that we try to cultivate the better sanitary habit by getting a waste bin so that we can now be trashing our waste and cutting them to designated dump sites outside the community. 
and not dump it into the drain. But by the time we dump into the drain, we will come back to suffer it. But when the drains are still there, the water will overflow and it will be coming out of our houses. My name is Akurero Henry Akbos, and this is Rero TV. Thank you for watching.